it's Thursday, June 20th, Mark here. Um, I'm doing this video today because I noticed I've talked about my training some, I've talked about my diet, I've shown you guys some training videos. I haven't gone over what my current training program is and what I plan on using for pretty much the entirety of this prep, just because I like it and it allows me to do pretty much everything I want to. So uh, I call it a progressive power hypertrophy training system. Um, the power hypertrophy training system was you know, coined and designed by Lane Norton and I really liked it. So I took that and I added some stuff from the power hypertrophy deload training that uh, RJ Port Perkins did, excuse me. And I just kind of put them together and then tweaked it some more to where it really fit what I'm doing right now. And so what it is, is if you're not familiar with power hypertrophy style of training, it consists of two power days to start the week, a day off and then three hypertrophy days. Within those two power days, um, in Lane Norton's program, it was an upper and then a lower day, followed by an off day, and then three bodybuilding style days. His days differed a little bit from how I do mine, um, but basically what it is is some variation of like a pull push legs day and then another off day and then you begin it again on his heavy days he just not specific numbers he just goes heavy you know sets of five to seven or so on his main movements and then you know six to ten rep range on all the accessory work what RJ Perkins did was he liked this program but he wanted to incorporate some of that five three one stuff so he wanted some powerlifting movements in there. He wanted to use percentages of his one rep max. He wanted to guarantee that he was progressing strength-wise. So what he did was, on day one, he would hit bench and deadlift. Day one, week one, bench and deadlift, fives. So using the Wendler 5 through one there, basically a fives week, meaning on both of those exercises, he would do three sets using 65, 75, and 85% of his one rep max. For sets of five. That third set though, he would try to push out as many as possible. The next day he would do shoulder press or standing military press and squats. Same thing, fives. 75, 80, or 65, 75, and 85 percent of the one rep max. And you know, then he would take a day off, then he would do his three hypertrophy days. And on those days he would start with some speed work on, you know, the, the big four power movements. Um, you know, just to gain that explosiveness. And then he'd take a day off after those three days and do it again. His second week would be a threes week, however. So on those big four exercises, he's doing three sets at, of three at 70, 80, and 90% of his one rep max. Again, that final set, pushing it past that three reps, trying to hit failure within, you know, un, staying under 10 reps, trying to just really grind him out. Then go about his week again. Third week, it's the ones week. So on those big four exercises, you know, he's hitting three sets of one using 75, 85, and 95% of his estimated one rep max. And on that last set, just going balls to the wall, everything you have, trying to trying to just dig deep and get reps. I like that. I've done that program and I love it. The thing I'm running into right now is that since I'm dieting, I'm on a cut, I'm in a caloric deficit, I don't really have the energy to recover when it's what your program is asking you to hit two huge... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, when your program is asking you to hit two huge core movements on back-to-back -back days and progressively get stronger, um, I just don't have it in me right now. I can't do it. So what I've done is I've turned that four... And, oh, by the way, on, after his third week, he takes a deload week. His fourth week is a deload. What I've done is taken that four-week program, tweaked it a little bit, turned it into my own seven-week program. So basically what I do is... My training schedule weekly is power upper, it starts on Sunday, upper power, lower power, day off, and then three hypertrophy workouts, a pull, a push, and a legs. The hyper workouts, you know, I start with, you know, on one of those core exercises, I'll either start with some accessory work or maybe even some heavy, like fives or sets of five or seven, just doing like six sets, just going after it. And then... I'm going into my accessory moves doing the general power or bodybuilding style work in the 10 to 15 rep range, just getting that good pump, that good feel, pushing the glycogen and blood into the muscles. Um, on my power days that first week, was, the first week is a bench and deadlift focus on the power days, uh, meaning on the upper day it's a bench press focus and the lower day it's a deadlift focus. Those, and that first week will be a fives week, so those I'll be doing fuck this road. Anyway, 
first week there is a fives week. So I'm staying in the rep range where I'm knocking out, you know, um, three sets of five reps. That last set, I'm going for more. Second week, everything stays the same except this is a B week, meaning um, the power upper day is a shoulder press, a standing military press, and the lower day is squats. Fuck this camera right now. I guess that's better. Um, and the lower day is squats. Again, a fives week. And then you take a day off and go at it. And then weeks three and four are both threes weeks. During these threes weeks, I gotta fix this camera, guys. Hold on a second. There we go. During these threes weeks, you're using 70, 80, and 90% of your one rep max on those power moves. So, you know, week three is an A week, so that means bench and deadlift. Week four is a B week, so that means military press and squats. And then the hypertrophy work kind of stays the same. Um, and then you get to the good weeks, week five and six. Week five and six are your ones weeks, which are three sets of one using 75, 85, and 95% of your one rep max. Again, guys, on that final set, you're pushing it as hard as you can, going for as many reps as possible. So, um, again, week five will be... Fuck me. These roads suck, by the way, P.S. Week five will be bench and deadlift. Week six, military press and shoulder press, or military press and squats, excuse me. Week seven, week seven is a deload, deload week. So there's power days, you know, scale it back to like 60% and just do like three sets of five, nice and easy. Um, your, your accessory work, you can scale it back or you can kind of leave it the same if you want to. Hypertrophy days, kind of keep them the same. Maybe scale it back just a little bit. You're letting your body recover a little bit here and you're reassessing your one rep maxes for your next cycle. Doing it like this, guys, um, one, it lets me do those powerlifting moves and it lets me go heavy. Two, it, I give my body time to recover between heavy lifts because I'm not doing four a week. I'm doing two a week. And I'm doing a given body part every other week. So it just really works for me. And it also allows me to hit every body part twice a week just with about the same amount of volume as a lot of people would do hitting it once a week. But this just, I like it better this way. So this is how I do it. So guys, that's my training system. It's uh, I call it progressive power hypertrophy only because the segments at weekly or bi-weekly or bi-monthly or however you fuck you say it. Every two weeks together, you're progressively getting heavier on those weights. You're guaranteeing muscular overload and you're guaranteeing that you're tearing those muscles down. Um, and if you watch my diet video, you know that this coincides with how I do my carb days. I do um, high carb days on those leg days to really help me refeed. Uh, my off days, I cut the carbs down a little bit so it balances out. Um, cardio wise, guys, um, I'm just doing 250 calories of low intensity, car intensity cardio um, four days a week right now. So, about a thousand calories a week. Uh, sometimes I do five, you know, so. 12.50 a week um, and that's it so that's the training program I hope you guys kind of understood it I know I ramble a little bit and I'm driving and the camera's falling around but if you have any questions about it let me know um, I'll be happy to answer questions or let you know you know a deeper look into why I do it the way I do it or like what lifts I do exactly on a given day um, maybe I'll cover that in some later videos if you want just let me know uh, all right guys I'm out for now it's hot as fuck. I'm going to roll the windows down and enjoy the weather. Uh, have a good day. I'll be in the gym tonight. I'll be hitting a hypertrophy push session. Looking to really tear it up tonight. So hopefully you guys are getting your workouts in, eating your food, hitting those macros. I'm going to do the same, and I'm going to try to enjoy this day. Later, guys.